Hi everybody, thanks for stopping by. My name is FM Jellico and you're watching The Diffuge Challenge, Episode 8 with Enfield Town FC. I'll be honest, I have no idea how I got here. We are currently in second place. 15 wins, 6 draws, 8 losses. We've been on a really good run lately. We beat Concord Rangers 5-3. Tom Ashton with a hat trick, including a 93rd minute goal. Abby Olafemi with a brace. Concord outshot us. They had more on target. But we were pretty clinical in front of the goal. And the one thing I do like is you'll notice we only had one long shot from goal. And that was Ashton. That was a brilliant strike. We follow that up with a 2-0 win at Chippenham. Rui da Costa had a brace. Nice to see someone else stepping up with some scores. Then we went to East Thurrock United. And East Thurrock is currently in 21st place. They are in a relegation battle, and unless things rapidly improve for them, they're definitely going down. And they gave us a game. Aaron Presley had a hat trick. Uh, he scored in the first minute and didn't stop until the 63rd minute. Kind of put us on the back foot. We fought back, kind of. Uh, Tom Ashton had a brace, 18 and 25 minutes in. Uh, Abby Obafemi had a late goal in the 92nd minute. As you can see from the stats, this was pretty even. Uh, the only thing they really outdid us on was possession, and I'm not too concerned about that. They won more of their tackles, they had more of their passes complete, and they beat us in the air. But we're not really a, a, a heading team, as it were. Uh, their defense sat back on this one, which is why we have a lot more shots that are closer to the edge of the 20-yard uh, box. But they did a number on us. They, they snapped our losing streak. Uh, and for some reason, a lot of the teams around us that have been in this top seven for a while have been f falling by the wayside. Hampton and Richmond Burroughs lost three. Borum Woods lost two out of their last five. So has Chelmsford City. Avant and Waterloo has gone winless in their last five games. Dolwich Hamlet, well, they've gone winless in their in four of their last five. And Billerique, who is still 13 points ahead of everybody, has lost one and drawn one in their last three. I don't think anybody's going to catch them, let alone us. So today we are taking on Aldershot Town and then Western Supermare. This FA Trophy third round game today, we are starting Friday and Goal. Green, England, Thompson, and Hunt as the defensive back four. Greeny, Ray, DeCosta, and Henchcliffe in the midfield. Ashton and Moore as the strikers. I'm switching things up a little bit. I did this the last couple of games and it seemed to work out real well. Ashton is now poacher and Moore is playing a defensive forward on support. Aldershot Town has Cole in goal with Arnold, Chambers, Lines, Foster, and Taylor as their defensive back four, with Mensah, Kellerman, Rowe, and Fenelon as their midfield four, and they have Baker Richardson and McClure as their strikers. On our bench, we have Green Birch, Reagan Upton, uh, Welch Hayes, Cook, and Morrison, and they have uh, Caswell, Alexander, Deadfield, Rendell, and Bennett. And I still have not been able to get a whole team green. It's just one of those things. So more to England, to Thompson, Ashton's tripped. Free kick here. So I noticed on the last video, the game footage was choppy. Like, not sure why. Green tries crossing it in, but it bounces off a uh, Aldershot player. I want to say it's another issue with handbrake. There's got to be a setting in there I am missing somewhere. So I am going to uh, go through that with a fine tooth comb. And as always, if worse comes to worse, wake up my son and have him provide some much needed tech support. Aldershot McClure with a goal with McClure with a shot wide left. We've been on a surprisingly good run. 
I'm not expecting to win a lot of games with a lot of high scores, but our defense has been pretty solid with the exception of, against, of that game against Thurrock, but their striker was just on his A game. He scored a minute in, and it was like, okay, we're kind of in for it. And we pretty much were green, up to green E, all alone, but he's got no support. Lost it in. I know it was a cross, but it was poorly aimed. Lucas Green Birch is back healthy. I've been rotating him and Obafemi out. Henchcliffe takes the ball, bombs it forward, but no one from our side is there. Cole runs it out, kicks it down. Ray with the ball, and he gives it away to Lions Foster. Kellerman up to McClure, intercepted by Thompson. Given back to Aldershot. Both teams seem to be playing this. Let's. Oh, McClure with a nice goal. I didn't think he had the angle on that. Let's watch this again. Taylor to Kellerman. To Baker Richardson. Nice cross. Yeah, McClure heads it in. I thought Fry had, had a decent chance of that. You know what? We're going to come off standard. And go to the attack. That was an interesting sequence from Kellerman. And oh, all the shot on the advance. Oh, and another goal by Mensa. is not going the way I expected. I don't have any personal instructions on for the defense. They're getting pulled out of position. Thompson, back to fry it. Kicks it forward. Aldershot has it again. Rowe, back heels. Up to Baker Richardson, to McClure. Back to Kellerman, who feeds McClure. 3-0, 25 minutes in. I tried demanding more. Can't blame Fried on that one. Our defense has just turned into a leaky sieve. Maybe the third game took it out of them. Oh, 4-0. Oh, this went downhill quickly. Hinchcliffe to Ray to Ashton. Nice save by the Aldershot goalie, Cole. Ray kicks it in. Ashton heads it away to nobody. To Costa with it. Four minutes until half. Looks like the whole side is averaging about a 6-3. Just not our game. Baker Richardson with it feeds McClure wide left. Well, if it weren't for bad luck, we wouldn't be having any at all. Twelve shots they've had, six on target. And we've got three yellow cards. Oh, now they're almost all green. Except Montel Moore. He's looking frustrated. Well, you know what, Montel? You. My good man. Coming off.
Taylor up to Fenelon. Now well, kicks it too far. England back to fry it. Ray heads it, but it goes to Aldershot. Rowe. Well, and that ends that. Well, let's just take away the clean sheet. That's our... Well, possibilities. Green Birch. To Ashton. To Greeny. Over to Ray. To Greeny again. Well, cross was a bit too much. Oh, very nice. All the way across the front of the gold, Greeny. That's the first cross that went too far. And Green Birch just kicks it back in front of the goal. Back to Greeny. That was nice. Near post. Uh-oh. Oh, fry it with a nice stop. Oh, he took away the clean sheet. Can we get one more? One more. Looks like Baker Richardson has a case of the cooks. Fenelon fry it with a nice save. Ray kicks it in, kicks it in again. The Costa header straight to Cole. 65 minutes. Thompson to Henchcliffe who gives it away. Mensa gets it forward. Baker Richardson's there. England intercepts. Back to fry it. Green to Ray to Greeny. Skies it forward to Green Birch to Cole. That was a nice sequence. It should have ended a lot better. You know what? Can I get... We're going to bring Upton on for DaCosta. Get him off before a second yellow card. I have Cook on the bench, but I don't know that I can take another long shot from him. Come on, guys, one more. Oh, they're totally wasting time. What the hell, guys? Baker Richardson with a nice... Baker Richardson on the cross, and McClure is in again. That's his third. Lately, it seems there's always one player on the other team who manages to do most of the damage. This time it was McClure. And we're marking him. And we're tackling him hard. Well, this is not how I wanted to start the episode out, but you got to take the bad with the good. We ruined the clean sheet. I guess that's something. Row with a free kick, fry it with a nice save. So a lot more Aldershot fans in the stands. McClure, nice save by Fryett. Well, it looks like that was pretty dramatic. Rowe with a corner kick. Kicked away, but back to Aldershot. Lions Foster to Bennett on the right. Oh, a nice tackle by Green Birch. Two minutes of injury time. Uh, this game can't get over soon enough. And the stands are almost empty. You'd think as well as we've been doing, the stands would be a bit fuller, but no. Well, no major injuries. 
Uh, that's about the only upside. 18 shots they had, 11 on target. Insane. <laughs> and I still can't get them all to agree that, hey, we should have done better. Unreal. Well, we got Western Supermare next. Hopefully, we will perform better against them than we did here. Back in a few. Well, these are our youth candidates. And as befitting a very small club with a very poor youth program, they're horrible. Jabari Best is a winger, but not really. Good determination, good acceleration, good pace. That's about it. Phil Stratful is a right winger. Good natural fitness, good pace, determination, flair, leadership, teamwork, potential. Miles Gold is a keeper, a very eccentric keeper. That is one heck of an attribute. Spider web going on there. Those three will be the only one we. Those three will be the only ones we sign. The others are just, yeah, they're just. Back in a few. Well, after our thumping at the hands of Aldershot Town, we rebounded with a 4-2 win at Braintree. Another solid game for us. Ashton had a brace. Moore had a goal. Obafemi had a goal as well. I switched to the 4-3-3 for this game just to kind of switch things up. I liked the results, so I kept it up at St. Albans City, and we lost in a goal bonanza of a game. It looks close, but it really wasn't. Uh, Lucas Greenberg and Abby Obafemi had goals four minutes apart and very late in the game to, to make it close. Lafumpa Mwande had a hat trick. He was just otherworldly this game, it seemed. We had our chances. As you can see, we had a lot of chances, 16 shots, but we just couldn't make the most of it. So today we are fighting Western Supermare, who are down in 16th place. We have fallen all the way down to 5th, but frankly there is all of 5 points separating 7th to 2nd. Bill Ricke Town, on the other hand, has lost their last 3. They're still at 64 points. I still don't think anybody's going to catch them, but that's just me. And as evidenced by my previous predictions and whatnot, I'm really not all that positive. I'm right. Against Western Supermare, this is what we have on the field today. Pride is in goal. Green, Upton, England, and Welsh Hayes is in the back four. Ray, Dawson, and DeCosta as the midfielders, with Ashton, Moore, and Lucas Greenberg as the strikers. Western Supermare is playing a 4-1-4-1 with Slynn in goal, Barlow, and Whale. Sanderson and Atkinson as their back four. Ponger as the defensive midfielders. Sayud, Benson, Mofford, and Grubb as the midfielders. With Akbabayer as the lone striker. And my team talk was spectacular as always. Supermare with the kickoff. Saeed back to Benson, taken away by Upton, back to Fryatt. Now that 5-4 game was, oh, a oh, nice try by Moore, was a series of never-ending highlights. It felt like it took about 30 minutes to get through, because as soon as a highlight would end, 
another one would start. And a lot of them ended in nothing. But there were nine goals that game and a ton of shots. And that's on key highlights, too. So Moore with the goal into green. Skies it over to green birch. Oh, nice volley saved by the Western Superman keeper. Slynn, I want to say his name is. Yep. He's had three good saves already. Well, two, it seems. How is that not a foul? Grub down the right side, back to the center in Mofford. Over to Barlow, up to Sayud, back to Fongluck. That's an unfortunate name, too. There have been a lot of unfortunate names the past few games. If this is a highlight, I wish that we get to the where it needs to go. Akpabire to Mofford to Fryat. Why did I have to say that out loud? I'll learn my lesson one of these days. Come on, guys. Ray, kick in. Out to DaCosta. Bounces it off a Western Superman player now. Three shots, not on target. Green with the throw, and back to Ray, to Green. Tried a long pass into the box, but was taken away. Mofford with the ball, up to Grubb, over to Akbawire, but saved by Fryat. Taken away by Green. Up to Ashton, who bounces it off a Western Superman player's face. Good grief. Mofford to Benson, to Grubb. Fryat has it. Exactly, been better than us. They just had more on target. No, I'm okay with those. Let's try a little encouragement. Ray out to Ashton on the wing, crosses it in. And now Moore with a weak shot that I think the keeper made too much out of. A little wide left. Green Birch chasing it down. Out to England. Not quite sure why he's up that far. He really shouldn't be. And the computer agrees with me. Free kick grub. Nice save by Fry it. Dawson got a yellow. Coming up on the half. Come on, guys. Late goal. To Costa. Back to Ray. Up to Ashton. Feeds more. Back to Ashton. Oh, nice shot, but it went high. That didn't count as an on target shot. Now, well, stranger things have occurred. Halftime. And the assistant has no better luck than I do. All right, we're going to bring Obafemi on as a target man to support and take Ashton off. Just to kind of switch things up. See how this goes. Costa to Ray to Obafemi. Feeds it back to Moore. Green out in the wing. Long pass in. Headed away by Barlow. Sayud has it for Weston. Crosses it to Akpobire. Akpobire. I think he got upset at, at how he's pronouncing his name. He skied one way left. Chase with a long pass to a charging green more. Oh, good at more. Oh, he should have had that. I think he got excited. I got a little excited, but. Uh, Moore's on a 6 3. You know what? Yeah, 
can't believe I'm going to do this. Cook is going to come on for Dawson. And Moore is having an absolutely horrible game, but I have no one I can I can bring on. Yeah, we're just going to go with that. He didn't even challenge for that ball. Grub up on the right, being chased. And Akpabayer takes it back out to the right, back to pass to Grub. Woodwork save. Maybe Fry got a hand on it. Barlow. Tap pass, but taken away. Green Birch running up the right. Green Birch passes Welch Hayes. Back to DaCosta over to Ray. Cook. More to Cook. To Ray. DaCosta back to East Head in the wrong direction. Oh, nice long pass to Green, who is taken out by two Western Supermare players. Green with the throw in. Obafemi. To Upton. To Cook. Costa in the center. More back to the Costa. Well, Chase, Obafemi in the crowd. I need more. Kicked it off a Western Supermare player. And then Western Supermare kicks it out of bounds. Now, Mare with the throw on Sayud. Akpabire's shot is deflected and saved by the goal. Woodwork save. They've had two woodwork hits. They're just... Well, we're getting lucky. We're getting unlucky. We're going to go to the overload and see if we can't equalize here. If we can't get this one back, I'm going to be really kind of mad. We've done really well against teams that are as good as or better than us when we play them, and it's the teams that we're not as good as that have Wow, Dorian Green Birch with a shot that's pushed high. I think of our last few games, the ones we lost, have all been in teams way down the table. Oh, Akpabire. Fry with a nice stop. Eight minutes left in regulation. Grub with a corner kick in. Headed out. Cook chasing it. Cook kicking it forward. It's what he does best. Probably saw a wide open goal and said, I can score. Akpabayer in a crowd, kicked away by one of ours. From Whale. Fonguk. All the way back to the keeper. It can be dangerous, but nope. Green Birch, surrounded by Western. Why is he taking that? Work the ball into the box. People, come on. It is not that hard of an instruction. What were the odds if I'd left Ashton in and taken, like, say, Moore or Green Birch out? I'd be up 3 1. Sayud bounces it off. Who's the number four? I should know this. Fry it with a casual save. 50 seconds left, guys. Fry it with another save. Come on, get it out. Get it out. That's not who you're supposed to get it out to. Grub running down the right, being chased. Skies it in. Fry it made a dive. I'm not quite sure why. Five seconds left. Ball's going to land. Time's going to end. One nil. One nil. Ten shots, none on target. I don't know. I hate that we threw this game away. It's like they didn't even really try. They had a week between games. It was just... You know what? Let's see if this works. A right ball came. Oh, good grief. Almost all of them are green. They agree with me. Yeah, boss. We could have been a better boss. Thanks for yelling at us, boss. Yeah. I just want to see results on the field. 
half is what I'm looking for. Or in the playoff hunt. I, I don't mind being in the playoff hunt. But... See what is on the schedule next. If we do manage to stay in the playoff hunt, it's going to be tough. Of our last 10 games, six of them are against teams that are in the playoffs. Our next episode is going to be Dulwich Hamlet and Gloucester City. The episode after that is going to be Bill Ricky Town and Chelmsford City. And if we're still in the playoffs, I'll have playoff episodes until the season's officially over and then a season wrap-up. But until then, hopefully this form we have is not indicative of the rest of the season. I'd like to think that we can recover. And that's the most losses we've had in a long time. That's the first back-to-back -back losses we've had all season, with the exception of the very first two games of the season. I hope it's not a trend. Well, if you've made it this far, the one thing I do need to say is thank you. For some reason, the filter that I used got turned off. It's an add-on to OBS which is what I use for recording. And it got turned off right before the start of the Western Supermare game, which is why my voice sounds as horrible as it does and why it went in and out. And for that, I truly apologize. This late into the season, we're doing really well. We're exceeding my expectations. And while I'm happy with the playoff run, I'm also ambivalent. Part of me wants to win it all. The other part of me says we can't really afford to win it all, but from a financial standpoint, and the fact that if we do win it all, chances are high that we will be right back here two seasons from now. If you do like what you've seen and heard, please drop a like down below, subscribe for more FM18 content, and check out some of the other videos I have on here. Comments, criticisms, please leave them down below, it would be very much appreciated. As always, my name is FM Jellico, and I thank you for watching.